What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. A little FSD action for you all today. Quick uh, food run. Safety first always. Make sure your seatbelt is on or else FSD will not activate. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and engage. And let's see if we can uh, make it to our destination without any takeover. So here we go. Green light, we're going to yield. We got a car coming, so first takeover. Not sure if we were going to yield there or not, but again, sometimes I don't like to find out. I'll just go ahead and take over. <sighs> okay, so starting from here now, let's see if we can make the entire trip without taking over. All right, let's go. So FSD decides to do a lane change, not sure why, but we're going to go with it. Starting to notice a lot of Teslas here in the Arlington area. Um, looking forward to uh, hopefully more chargers, public charging locations. Right now we have one in downtown Arlington that's at the Whole Foods, and it's like on the it's in the garage at the upper level and you got to pay for parking to go there so it's always open right now I'm like there's a couple other superchargers within like five miles so not many people use this one even though it's in a pretty prime location like I've never seen it fully occupied um, now there's another one pretty close by to me too it's in Tyson's corner it's right outside of um, where the mall area is and right before you get onto the highway. And let me tell you, that one is always packed. Um, so personally, I don't supercharge unless I'm on a road trip. And I think I've taken about uh, three road trips, two uh, four hour plus ones, and then one mini one. So yeah I charge at home for the most part I mean pretty much all the time so I never have to worry about supercharging and waiting in those lines but other than that I will go to a supercharger if needed and I haven't had any issues there at all so so far so good want to thank everybody for watching this video um appreciate all the views the feedback definitely trying to bring you all as much content as possible trying to upload everything in 4k make sure you uh watch this video in 2160p if if available all you got to do is press the little settings button in the corner of your screen and choose the video quality and select advance and then if it gives you the option select 2160p so that gives you the highest quality of video possible so far so good i gotta say one of the best features of autopilot is maintaining your speed <clears throat> had a police car behind me for the, I don't know, past five or six lights, but knowing that I don't have to keep an eye on my speed, you know, is a huge um, <laughs> relief. You don't have to sit here like sweating that, oh, you're going to get pulled over. I mean, you know, it's, it's illegal for the cops to pull you over without any reason, so you got to give them a reason so unless you decided to uh, speed using the scroll button you're not going to speed so here we go with the nice slick exit onto the on-ramp to, to uh, route 50 kind of a mini highway I guess you could say but 
want to see if it could take us to our destination. Turn right onto North Pershing Drive. Ooh, could have done a little bit better job with the merge there. Um, yeah. Turn right onto North Pershing Drive. All right, so heading over to Paisano's. It's a nice little pizza joint. They do some really good pizza, so highly Family recommend it. Destination is on the right. Shout out to Paisanos. So yeah, here we go. We made it to our destination. Um, nice job. FSD was able to handle everything except, well, it it did handle that one turn at the traffic light. It's just I wasn't sure if it was gonna yield for the car or not, and um, yeah, when in doubt, I always take over. That's going to be one of the best um, pieces of advice I can give anyone getting the beta. Because if you don't know, um, basically anyone with a safety score of 80 and up will be receiving beta. It's pretty much going out to everybody. So definitely let me know if you have any questions or you know advice but the best advice I could say is just be ready to take over at any given moment um, even if you receive it it's still in beta mode so just remember that beta mode means that it's not fully running software you know available to release to the public just yet so yeah pretty much there's gonna be um, probably a uh, a million people added to beta soon so there's a electric vehicle charging station in this parking lot pretty cool but I'm I'm sitting at an 88% state of charge probably no need to do that so yeah I want to thank everyone for watching this video and I hope you all have an amazing rest of the day